Now that we have created a file, we now need to open it. Click File, Open, and choose your file, the one that you create. My, my, in this instance here, I have created one called Eco One. That's my file name. You have your own file name, which is not a problem. In this particular clip, I'm going to introduce you to the creation or creating of general ledger accounts. You will find general ledger accounts situated at, in the edit tab. When you click on edit tab, you're going to find one of the commands will say general ledger and here we have accounts and budgets budgets we will come back to it at a later instance remember where it is and at the moment we're going to concentrate or focus on accounts we're going to use it to create our accounts what's important when we create accounts is that to ensure that every aspect every entry we make is absolutely correct there should be no mistake at all so the first account there as per the question paper november 2024 page six number 1.13 is five thousand and here we go to the account description capital ensure that you type correctly capital letter c you know that the selection is important here it's income statement which is the statement of comprehensive income or the balance sheet which is the statement of financial position capital goes in balance sheet the order name then we need to select the financial category here then we must be very careful in selection your knowledge of accounting and your learning of the work worksheet given to you is important so here it is share capital and the report writer cap is also going to be capital remember you created report writer in the setup menu so first is to capture the account number that's one the account description two choose the correct main account which is the financial statement three here your financial category four your report writer five and then you click the sixth one which is you obviously have to save in this way you can continue to create the next account and this next account here we're going to call it drawings as per the question paper drawings is a balance sheet account again it goes under share capital and under here it will also go on as capital drawings can also although it's part of share capital if there is a section you could enter it as shareholders loan in this case it's more apt and more appropriate to keep it as share capital because remember it decreases the owner's equity it decreases capital because of drawings the owner has taken so that is why it will be fine to put it as share capital and capital and you go and save it the next one is retain income i suggest to you follow the instructions as stated in the question paper where you can start also balance sheet you can start with the report writer so start off with the report writer you know it is capital thereafter you can then select the correct financial category it's great income and then you click save having said that you will notice that i have made a typo so let's correct that inside there if it allows you let me get into more. 
Okay, so it's not allowing me for whatever reason. So we try and frustrate them, balance sheet, let's go back in. Right, it's allowed me now to make some change there. And retained income spelling is important. Now, let me try something different here. Recall the correct way is to capture the report writer category first, then the financial category. Let us do it the other way about. Let us start off with the financial category, which is retail income. Then we're going to go to this report writer. And you'll notice that when I'm trying to click here in this drop down box, it will not allow me to select. It closes instantaneously. So there is an issue. First of all, I did not follow the instruction. I should have started with report writer, then go to financial category, not a problem. I made a mistake, I've corrected my spelling. This is an error, not an issue. Let me show you a way out, and that is to save it and simply then go and edit it. When you edit it, if you don't find it immediately, go and search, and you're going to find retained income. Then, you go and make that selection. Not right. And you'll notice, you'll notice that it allowed you to select capital. And here it is. We're ready for saving. One, main account number. Two, description. Three, choose the financial category. Four, the, sorry, financial category here. Main account and report writer. So one, two, three. Or five, and your number six will be same. Let's do the next account, which is going to be, you know, don't have an opportunity because recall we edited this one. And here is a plus sign that says add. We click on add and we enter the main account number, in this case, in the description, which is inventory. Spelling is important. You know the main account. Financial statement is balance sheet. Let's choose the category carefully. This is important. Remember it's inventory. You look around and you will you will find a category that has inventory. Click on it. Select it. Then your report writer. You will know that inventory is a form of current asset. So you will select it and we will then save it. Next one there is 8,000 trade receivables. Let's do that. 8,000 trade receivables. You know, it's a balance sheet entry, which is the statement of finance, the statement of. Uh, uh, excuse me, statement of financial category. So yeah, it is the receivables. And we now have to have an all selection. It is going to be account receivable. Right. And report right will be current assets. And save it. Well, you're, de you're developing a way and an understanding that your selection is important of the financial and report writer. It's more to commission received, C O M M I S S I O A, received. You know that commission received is not a balance sheet, it's not a statement of financial position. It is Comprehensive income, select that, then you know it's going to be as an other income. Here will be income. So we've got commission received, income statement, other income, income, and clicks. Move to the next one, which is 2400. Right. And I've just realized that I have. 
omitted 2000 so now is my chance to make my error so i've made a mistake if you noticed now that i have this description of 2000 is commission received and you know that commission received is two two double so i have you chose the wrong description so let's reject it and now we go and edit or search it allows us edit right first things first to remember that you cannot change an account number that's why it's grayed out these errors are important for us to improve our knowledge they are troubleshooters and we need to learn from them so here it is grayed out so it allows you to change the description in this case it was service service rendered for our equals we are a quotes right and you know it's in some station on the income income that still will remain the same and now we notice it allowed me to say that countdown 2000 and all i did was change the description when we go to add now this new account which is commission received And again, it becomes easier. You know, it is income statement, which is a statement of plans of income, other income, and permission to see is going to be as an income. And we click moving on. We got Sunday income 2400. Again, income makes it easier for us. Sunday income spelling is important, and other income. And income again, same story one, two, three, four, five, and six. Save six steps. Moving on now to three thousand. You'll notice or two six double on which is rent income two six zero zero and rent income. Right, easy again other income you know it's a statement of comprehensive income income statement and it's going to be an income and we save it then you will notice that the question paper jumps to the account numbers that start with three thousands so and you will notice that they all appear on the debit side and if you just a quick glance at it you will come to realize those are expenses keep that in mind let's do this here Printing and stations. Right. The income statement now comes the issue of that. You know it's an expense, so the report title will be expenses. So again, same story, just that we move to expenses and you play you save it. 3000 is done. We have 32 double. Let's do that. Water and electricity. It's an income statement expense. It's an expenses. Save it there. Moving on to 3300. Again, it's an expense. Salaries and we just expense expense again notice there's no need for us to change this main account selection because these are all income statement or statement of comprehensive income entry so it makes our life easier you don't have to change too many things and we got to say we're moving on to three four zero zero and that there is a business insurance right and you know it's going to be again jumping to gun 
expenses, same story that stays as it is. Expense, expense. Let me save it. The next one is telephone 35000. Oh, I skipped that. Let's get back to the all. It's an expense and an expense, and there you are. All right. So we've got telephone expense, expense, a almost there. 36000. This one is Korea. And postage expense expenses Korea is not wrong, so you get just right. C O R I A R and postage. Save it like you've done. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Last one. Let me over with the creation of all the documents. Add advertising. Same story, it is an income statement or statement of comprehensive income. It's an expense, financial category, and a report rate category. And that's it there. So we now close it just to look and see what are the ledger accounts that we've created. Let's see what are they. Can edit and general ledger. I've got accounts. Let me, if you need to, we can search for them. And you'll notice that your account numbers are there, starting from 2000, which is your income, 3000, which are expenses, then we go into the owner's equity part of the statement of comprehensive statement of financial position, which is the balance sheet, and we're moving on to the other parts of the balance sheet, assets, and that's it. So Quick count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I do count it like question paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We have sixteen entries. We got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. All our financial categories are what we used, selected, and that's the end of that part of 1.183. I feel free to ask questions if there's a need to.